You guys see the forklift right there? You know what that means. We're unboxing another tank. And there it is. A 5,500 pound glass reef tank. Don't know the exacts of how long it is, but it looks like it's 65 feet. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but it's, it is realistically probably about 30 feet long, give or take a few feet. I'm not good at this type of stuff. But what makes that glass reef tank so scary, so special, and so different? I mean, you guys have seen us move tons of tanks. Like the double bullnose, the first tank we actually got here. There's still a ton that could go wrong. One more tail. <laughs> hard, hard to pick up. It's very, very heavy. And even most recently moving this giant acrylic tank that sits in the wall. I don't know why this one's freaking me out so much, but it is freaking me out. But again, Alex and the rest of these pros crushed it. This one is different because it's glass. All the rest have been acrylic. Now both come with their benefits and both come with their downfalls. I hate glass. The thing with glass is it's very rigid. So say it did get hit. Well, it could literally shatter to pieces. Acrylic is softer, more delicate, more tending to scratch, but it also has more give, so it's not as likely to shatter like that. Alex and his team have to be really cautious. As always, I have faith in them, but let's go unbox this thing. Whoa! We need some more stuff in here, Jay. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit more, make it a little more difficult for you. All right, looks like the orchestra's about to begin. This is always a fun part. Super relieving that I don't have to do this job. I'll sit back and watch. More. Oh. Remember, they have to be super specific and careful when it comes to this camp bend. So it's this forecast to get it in at the exact right time and then drop it down once that truck pulls off. To add insult to injury, not only is this gonna be the most sketchy tank to unload, but it's been raining for two days. It's wet, it's soggy. Our little runway of terror and fear over here has mud, has big holes with water in it. So it looks like we're gonna have to be extra careful on this one. I've never found a way to unload it like this. What, it's sunny when we're not here and windy and raining, and we gotta do something. So true, dude, my whole life. Story of my life. Moment of truth, dog. That's what we're gonna call this tank, it's the truth. <laughs> the sounds get me every time. It's like a horror movie, you know? <laughs> this is one of those moments where you just kinda have to sit back, be present, and soak in this because this does not happen very often. And with the lull of not getting shipments, I really missed this. I saw the video two days ago where we were talking about things we installed out, but we were talking about this day. So we are super geeked up because Alex is here. And anytime Alex is here, Bashy is here, those guys, it's like oh. stuff is actually happening here. The aquarium pros are here. Super excited, getting stuff unloaded. And there may even be a special shipment tomorrow, but more on that later. And this tank is about halfway out already, so this is where you're, you're gonna get the maximum amount of chance for bowing, which we absolutely can't have. We're getting the second forklift set up underneath here right now so that we can easily bring it off, and then the truck can pull forward. You guys, are, you know the drill, we've done it before. Go down more, lift it up, straight up slightly. It's a little bump, okay. All right guys, it's finally the time. Truck driver's pulling away. We can get this thing down on the ground. Ooh, oh, let's go. Dude, I like blinked and it's it's lifting in the air. Oh, oh man. No snap, snap, crackle, pop either. Do we have a what's the plan now, Alex? Get it over there. Get the one end in, just like the acrylic tank. Get yeah. it set on the rollers. Hoping between the two forklifts we can kind of just shimmy it in the door until we can get the other forklift around to the back and then just drive it straight in. So why glass? Now that's a good question. We just asked Alex and he said it's actually because there will be so much algae buildup you have to constantly be cleaning the glass. Acrylic is very soft, scratch is very easy. If you were cleaning acrylic that much, it would literally just get so scratched and you can't polish inside of water. So you wouldn't be able to see through it. It's just not an option. So that's why we had to do glass. Dennis, what's he doing? He, he, he wanted to shift a little bit because it was leaning to one side. Ooh, that's not good. Is that because there's like, is there something more over here? Oh, maybe because the intakes or whatever. Slowly. Is that from this side? It's so off balance. Well, we're running into a problem. Can I mention it's raining, windy, and 30 degrees? So Alex and anybody that builds aquarium does not enjoy a glass tank. Glass is so rigid and it has no flex. If it flexes, it breaks. Good luck, Alex. It's a good view from up here. Kind of scared. I'm gonna get down now. Alright, go ahead. Okay, guys, 65 feet. Maybe one of our longest tanks that we have. Let's not count the shark tank. It really is. It's, it's giant. Huh. That's a freaking generator. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
look at this. This is the first obstacle that we actually, well, it's actually just the next obstacle that we have. Going over the ditch with just a piece of plywood. Sorry, off balance and shaking. This glass can't, can't hit any of the stuff. Oh God, I gotta relax. This is getting intense. And you guys have no idea, well, maybe you do, but how exciting this is to see Alex and his team back and start getting tanks and start working on new projects. I mean, this place makes me feel the most connected to Brian. So when the progress slowed down over here for the last couple weeks, honestly, it's been really hard. We're trying our best to keep our heads held high, but this place means so much to all of us. So seeing the progress stop was very difficult, but today that all changes. Alex and the team are also gonna start working on the shark tank again. The glue is coming in from Italy. I mean, it's coming together, guys. It's so exciting. These are the big steps we need, and it's happening right now. Okay, I don't even have to say it. That's not gonna fit through the door. They're gonna have to do some sort of shimmy thing. I think they were saying they were gonna put it on wheels. Huh. I mean, so far, so good, though. I mean, they've gotten it this far, I, which is further than I would have made it. I don't think I would have been off the truck. Uh -uh. Really use it like a chili cheese dog right now with some french fries with extra cheese. I think I see where this is going, hopefully yeah. in the building. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to go in the building, whether it's one piece or not, I don't know about that, but they're pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're pretty good. Has anyone even checked to see if there's like anything in the way over here yet? <laughs> Well, I think that's in the way. So, I mean, not huge problem, but this one's definitely got to move, huh? I think they're going to try to get it up today. Wow. Well, we just got to make sure it's all moved before we get over here. Main thing is just yeah, trying to... Yeah, that's fine. Bad thing is, yeah, it has to be back there. Is the wheels the way it's staying? Oh. Look at this, they got it inside, put it on the wheels so they can move it to the final position. And there we go guys. Yeah, we're gonna do it to you. If you wanna see how this turns out, you guys stay tuned till tomorrow. Speaking about. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.